but as far as music goes i've really really loved getting into that it's but been like, so cool being able to like work with people on on extended projects and create incredible things like i have four songs out right now and they're all house songs but the yeah. one i'm releasing this month on the 28th is the first time i've uh sang and song written oh you're singing in this mm-hmm. oh shit yeah oh, that's dope <laughs> i thought it was just like dj shit like pull no. up and like change the sounds because i was at this shit in vegas with you and i didn't even know you were coming out and then i saw you and I was, I was looking at the table and I've seen a few other, a few other DJs like Carnage, buddy of mine. I don't understand this shit at all. I look at it, I'm like, what are these doing? And I was like, it feels like they're just, you guys are just playing a playlist. Absolutely not. No, it's not <laughs> happening. Brad, I literally heard you behind me while I was DJing. Yeah, I was asking like, asking Taylor. Yeah, I was asking Taylor. Like, like, how? So, so like, how does this shit work? <laughs> you heard me? I didn't think yes, you heard me. Yes, I, I heard you. Like, you. I thought um, it was so loud in there. No, I didn't I think hear anyone you. heard me. It was so funny. He was like trying to explain like how it was going. <laughs> yeah. Back and forth. So I'm trying to understand like, um, how do you know? So like, from the blind eye, like if there were two DJs hypothetically and they were both playing music, yeah, you really wouldn't be able to tell the difference unless you knew what you were doing on the turntables. Like someone could play a playlist and just fuck around and touch buttons and or it would, look like they're touching and it buttons. would look almost virtually the same as a real dj who's actually doing something and that's the problem is like there's so many like fake djs out there um but when you're actually mixing like every single song that i play for the most part i have a couple pre-recorded or pre-mixed songs in there that i've custom made but i produced it like custom made for my set so it's like my intro and uh the outro and like certain edits to make it more intense but for the most part i'm every single different song that you hear i'm manually mixing it with the buttons. So like, yeah. So, so DJing ex- is like live producing. So like all those knobs. Yeah. There's like the highs, your mids and your lows. It's like the high parts of the song, the mids, which is like vocals and the lows, which is the bass. And I can control all those things for like each song. Like keeping it in and as another one song comes in, right? Yes. <laughs> but like you can do it with, it's not just when the song ends into the next song. It's drops and builds. Like I'm mixing and playing two to three songs at the same time. It's funny. I, I feel I know nothing about this, but I'm still testing like your DJ-ness right now. 